Hi and welcome to Talk A Quiet Book. My name is John Clement and um, today is another exciting day and um, we have another special guest. Although he's been on the program a while, he's back again to like the trees and some of the facts that we earlier discussed on this show, Talk A Quiet Book. Uh, he's no other person than Barrister Imo E. Abman, the Secretary, APC. Uh, National Youth Caucus, and he's also a political analyst. Barry Semo, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, it's nice to be here. <laughs> okay, um, you will agree with me that um, within the last time you came and up till now, a whole lot has happened in in, in the political terrain and uh, also in terms of uh, Nigeria as a whole, the nation, and. Um, I wouldn't want us to start from, I wouldn't want us to continue from where we stopped, but I want to think you differently first on a, a different issue that concerns the nation, Nigeria as a whole, uh, before we now go back to uh, the last discussion where we stopped and then we continue from there. Um, talking about Nigeria, restructuring, uh, there have been this agitation from different quarters that Nigeria should be restructured. And I ask myself, if we are restructuring, what are those things we need to restructure? So I ask you, restructuring Nigeria, this agitation has been on for so long. What's your take? Incidentally, I am not um, one of those um, who has been patronizing the clamor for restructuring. Um, in fact, recently I had cause to begin to ask questions as to um, whether people really understand this whole concept of uh, restructuring the Nigerian Federation. And because you know, when you hear people talk about restructuring, the question will be restructuring what? Mm. Restructuring how? But, but as a lawyer, um, I'll tell you that going by our constitutional history and going by the way the Nigerian nation was put together by the British colonial masters, and then the horrid nature of um, the way our own constitution was also uh, pieced together, especially the last being that which was um, crafted by the military regime. Um, there are a lot of things that um, beg for attention. For instance, um, we have seen that the Nigerian Federation has a very strong center. Um, the government at the federal level is the strongest. It never used to be so. We, prior to now, we had um, stronger federating units, which were stronger regions. You know, but now we have a stronger center. So it makes the clamor for holding office at the political level, namely the presidency, it makes it the juiciest, if I may use that expression, um, office to go for. And the constitution also invests enormous responsibilities and powers on the office and personal You know, so that is the commander in chief. That is the chief economist. He's, every, he's an all in all. Now, that leaves um, the states at the mercy of the center. And one of the things proponents of um, the restructuring um, have sought that should be done is that you ought to have um, stronger states, stronger federating units, um, so that each state can develop at its own pace. For instance, what you have at the federal level as allocations to states are more like handouts to the states. And there are states that whether they are producing or they are not producing, they are entitled to these handouts. And that discourages productivity, that discourages ingenuity, that industri discourages industry. So if you have a situation where each state earns what it produces, um, we will be forced to look in rules. Now, probably there are other states that benefit from what they, are, they may not be entitled to. There is a school of thought that feels that way, that there are states that benefit or, or, or get what they are not entitled to. Um, if restructuring is put in place, then the emphasis will now be 
everybody looking inwards. inwards. Now, if you look at um, what is burning now, um, the Nigerian police force, um, prior to now, almost there was a unanimity of opinion that you cannot have state police. But you see, the realities on ground now makes it more imperative that these changes must be embraced. And so we're starting with the Nigeria police force. And if you look at the um, the, the report of the, the, the Constitutional Conference, uh, which uh, the former president uh, uh, inaugurated, you would see that there were far-reaching recommendations that were made by several interest groups, several religious bodies, several ethnic factions. But those reports were, 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 were given out and nothing is being acted upon. Well, it, it, it's one thing to, to sit down, brainstorm, and come up with recommendations. It's a different kettle of fish entirely to get them implemented. And then, but I think now that the issue of state police was one of the issues that was raised, and now that it is being addressed, it gives greater hope and uh, confidence that um, with time we we'll also approach um, all the other issues, other resolutions, all, all the other resolutions that were raised, not only in that report, but that have become um, part of our day to day existence, which just has to be addressed. We can't look away from that. Okay. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, we'll still continue on our discussion. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.